I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna look. I am so speedy. I am the speediest. Oh. Oh. Hello gamers, geese and guys. Thanks for stopping by. And of course, welcome back to Amnesia. The Dark Descent. I've been having nightmares about this game. Not really, but I have been dreading getting back into this and playing it. But we're here anyway, so let's see what what's going to happen. Right, so last time we were here, we were struggling with sanity. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. It sounds like a new Eminem track. Um, we've got plenty of stuff. Got the lantern, got the chemistry pot. We don't have any more acid. Got the laudanum, um, which improves our health and helps heal our wounds. Got a little bit of fuel. And currently, what are we trying to do? The rope won't pull, the hatch open. Something must be clogging. Holy. Okie dokie. I'm guessing, because I noticed when I was... I was guessing that it's this thing up here, because we looked... I was looking when I was editing the stream for the YouTubes. Hi, YouTube. And I noticed it, and I, I just... My eyes glazed over last time. I think I was just so scared. I'm so... Come on. Hey. Hey. Okay, so... I've still... Got the door blocked. We blocked that with some... Oh, I don't trust. We, we blocked the door with some barrels. Barrels. Have I got all the oil? I've got all the oil. Uh, I know the second we touch that pulley, something is going to come running after us. And I am not here for it. I just, I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to be home. It's too, just, can I just stay in here? Just pump some weights for like a, a week and then lift the hatch? I think I could lift that. I bet I could lift that hatch. I could lift If I, if I was, if I really, really tried, I could do I've got a slight headache. I'm going to wait completely. I'm going to min-max this. We're going to wait for the sanity to completely fill up. And then we're going to go crank that handle. And then I'm going to cry and run away from whatever tries to break that door down. Because there is something out there. It's making loads of noises at me. And I am not happy about it. Let's go! Uh, come on. Why? Is that it? Oh, it's up. Oh! Nothing's breaking the door down. Uh, do I even... Do I even want to go down there? Uh, it's all fleshy, though. It's all... Uh. Oh, it's just, just the flesh. Just the flesh. Fine. I said it's fine. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. I'm struggling to make sense of this situation. What? Why? Who? What? Why? Why have we gone from a hundred to freaking zero? Zero to a hundred. Uh, oh, can I? 
Ooh, it's gotta be right there. I couldn't see it. Well, this escalates quickly. Anything in there? There's a lever in there. Mm. Right, I'm gonna fuck off. Uh. Is I need to be there. I need to be there. I need to be there. Do I not have anything I can grab from here? Reach. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. I am stressed. I did I just throw a Bible at the thing? I just realized. What's that do? to do? Why? Oh, is that my only book? Is that my only book? <laughs> oh, you going over there. Oh man, it is pissed. Oh no, that's timed. That is timed. That is timed. Come on. Get out of there. Right there. Ugh. Oh, no, no, no. Where do I need to be? Where do I need to be? Where am I going? Has that lever really stopped? Oh hell no! No 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 no! What am I meant to freaking do? To be fair, I did just see a lever and pulled the lever and presumed it would help me, and it started clicking, and then I panicked. I know you're still there. Right now, I need to figure out what I'm doing. But I have no idea. How's my sanity doing? I've only got a slight headache, despite everything. I need to see what's in this room. Them. Um, right, let's see if I can get him to go over there. Oh my god. Do I have anything else I can throw at him? 
I just need something. Something else. Uh. Oh, yeah, I can scroll wheel. Right, um... Uh. I didn't want to put the book on the shelf! Uh. Um... Oh. Was there any reason to come in here? Or have I just got myself killed? Uh, is that what I need to get to? Oh, God, that is such a long way to travel. And this music is just constant. All right, I know where we need to be, and I have to parkour the living daylights out of this. Spoiler alert! Sturk's car platform! Oh boy. I, I was expecting this game to be stressful, but nothing quite like this! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right. No. No. I just put the book down. That's all I did. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. No, another one. Oh, sweet mother of. Uh. Right, we have body parts. Maybe it wants a little bit of leg, you know. That uh, looks like he's a leg kind of guy. That's absolutely fine. Oh my god, he's freaking eating it. Oh no. He's full on eating. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Right, uh, hang on. Let's chuck a leg over that direction. Because then... Whilst he's eating, it's gonna distract him long enough, hopefully, for me to make a little bit of a dash. Sugar. Okay. Okay. Where is he? Oh, he's still all the way over there. Okay, he is coming over here now. That's not very far. All I'm hoping is when he gets his mitts on that meat. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have never been so stressed in all my life. I have never been so stressed in all my life. Why have my lights gone out? Uh. Why do I need a hollow needle? Mm. He's not fooled. He was not fooled by that. Do we have anything else? Anything I can throw. That one too. That's a little bit better. This soundtrack is cruel.
It's locked. What do you mean it's locked? I... I did a lock pick from here. Oh. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried. The ocean swallowed him again. And... That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not even looking. I'm not even gonna look. 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 I am so speedy. I am the speediest. No. No. Mistakes. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. Like a hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of the setting sun. Ha! Boy, that was something else. Who's opening what now? Oh, that's statues of legs. I thought that was just... Oh my god, that is... That's a new kind of hideous. That's... Wow? That looks very much like the wow. Doesn't it? Soma. Hmm. Oh, this is the Order of the Black Eagle. Found it. Found the order. Now, do I go to where the door open? Or do I go to I I kind of want to keep going? I am gonna make sure we have ample light in here. I mean I feel like we already do. I'm gonna go where the game wants me to go. I'm gonna go where the game wants me to go. For once in my life. This place. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Oh, we are descending. Into the dark. Perhaps. Machine room? Oh boy, I do not want to be going in. Is this going to work, or is, am I going to have to go into the machine room to fix it? Not working. <laughs> I... I... Busted it out. All kinds of... I've, I've seen... I've read that. Memento. It's find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Good oh. thing I'm an engineer. And why has my light gone out? Let's see if they stay on. That whole water sequence has completely buggered me up. That was that was a new kind of terrifying. So we need to go down into the machine room. I don't particularly want to. I feel like this is gonna. Right. Okay. So I don't even have to. Go in there yet. 
Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room so I can go into the machine room to find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator so I can go down the elevator. Well, I guess then I have to go somewhere else. Also, I don't like how the ambient music has gone very soothing. I am happy that they have done it, especially after what they just put me through. But I'm not particularly happy because that means that something bad is coming. <laughs> the music, this part of the music definitely is giving me Elder Scrolls vibes and I know I keep going back to that. This just feels like I'm exploring a dungeon in Oblivion. So we can go to the study or we can go to the guest room. I don't think the key to either is going to be in a study but I want to go check it out anyway. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one wooden apple, pondered on the string happening. This doesn't feel safe. Let's make sure we light. Hey, Tinderbox, cool. Little statue. Are those sounds in the building with me? Hello? Oh man, definitely gonna get attacked here. Okay, can I... Light? Very dark and horrible in here. Bible. I might need one of those by the time I'm done with this game. The most remarkable thing happened as I was travelling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as their Heliodromus described it in the Horse Conclusus. It was as it was told about. An underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth, jagged, its colour washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Oldstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside, and suddenly I could verify the truth of the enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these fetched the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless. It made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed. Fortunately, they remained as I continued to escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me. The colours of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. Trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder. The ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising winds and rained on me. I could hear pleas 
screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I felt the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear his return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realised I owed you the truth about my visit to Hodgstad. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Oh boy, okay. Boy found a ball and it got stolen back, I think. That was some interesting lore tidbits. Yes. Let us go and have a bit of a look. So we've got that. What the dog doing? Sounds like a dog. There better not be dogs in this. After my experience with literally any other game. Oh. There's something in here with me. Oh, there's a tinderbox. But why would I want a tinderbox? Oh, taxidermy. Hang on, wait, wait, safety first. Safety first. Safety first. Safety first. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded... ...thing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice, as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Why are we acquiring them? That's the most vampire looking man I've ever seen. Hello. <laughs> Ebus. Where is... Oh, that's Prussia. I, was, I For a brief second, I thought it was a really badly drawn map of Africa from like this orientation. But no, that is Prussia. Look at that snout. That pig? That looks a bit pig-like, but that also looks like a dog. That's a that's that's a dog. Oh, it's a taxidermy. This is a big taxidermy room. Look, there's a pigeon, there's a dog. Canine jaw. Understanding balance. Got our own Prussian Leonardo da Vinci. Milestones of human anatomy. Another dog. Burb. Let's see what you have to offer. I 
should have sharpened the saw. Why didn't you put the dog out of its misery before you start sawing its head off? Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I'm sorry. That rabbit is straightened my soul. Boy. doing okay so I don't think there was particularly any reason to come into the study is this another dream he thought and he screamed at the top of the phone right this feels like the safe room. This feels like we're on okay. Where nothing bad's gonna happen. But I know that's gonna be taken away from me. I know it. They, they wouldn't give me a safe space. They just wouldn't. They're not that kind of person. Definitely not. Surely not. Really? No. Right, let's see if we can find this damn key. 